Hi, I am Jyoti and I am a yoga therapist working at Fernandez Child Development Center. I am here with you today to share the benefits of yoga and teach you a few asanas that will help you in your daily life. These asanas can be performed by people of any age and are beneficial for all. Without any further delay, let's begin. Om Chanting We will start off today's session by learning Om Chanting. Make sure you are sitting in a comfortable place and position. I will demonstrate three positions that you can sit in. First, Padmasana. Second, Vajrasana. And third, Sukhasana. Now place your hands on your knees in Chin Mudra and maintain this position for the rest of the steps. Close your eyes and get into a relaxed mode. Make sure both your body and your mind are at ease. Feel the vibrations run through your body. Once you have paid attention to the sounds and vibrations in your body, breathe in and continue to count to 5. As you exhale, count to 7. When you breathe out for the third time, chant and feel your abdomen vibrating. Breathe out completely and relax. Then take a deep inhalation and as you breathe out, chant Om and feel your chest and neck vibrating. Breathe out completely and relax again. Exercise a slow and deep inhalation. As you breathe out, chant and feel your head and neck vibrating. Exercise exhalation followed by relaxation. Some benefits of Om Chanting are Chanting of the Om Mantra purifies the environment around you and creates positive vibrations. Om Chanting improves concentration and helps you focus. The Om Mantra has cardiovascular benefits. By relaxing our mind and body, our blood pressure will decrease and our heartbeat will get a regular rhythm. Your spinal cord is also strengthened through the vibrations caused by the sound of Ah. As the sound is generated from the abdomen, it helps to strengthen the supporting muscles of the spinal cord. Let's now learn to do Nadi Shodhana Pranayama, which is a breathing technique that cleans and purifies the Nadi 
which means subtle energy channel. Start by sitting comfortably in Sukhasana. Keep your spine straight and head upright. Relax your mind and body and close your eyes. Hold the chin mudra in the left hand and the Vishnu mudra in the right hand and place both hands on your knees. To begin practicing breathing, remember to breathe alternatively through both the right and left nostrils. Close your left nostril with your ring finger and little finger and breathe in from the right nostril. Next, close the right nostril with the left thumb and exhale through your left nostril. Now inhale from the left nostril. Pause and hold your breath and slowly exhale from the right nostril. Repeat the exercise a few more times. Some benefits of the Nardi Shodhana Pranayama are that it helps to ease the mind and center it. It works therapeutically for circulatory and respiratory problems. Releases accumulated stress in the mind and body effectively and helps to relax. It helps harmonize the left and right hemispheres of the brain which correlates to the logical and emotional sides of our personality. Helps purify and balance the nadis and maintains the body's temperature. to Brahmari Pranayama or Bee Breath. Sit up straight in Vajrasana in a quiet, well-ventilated corner with your eyes closed. Keep a gentle smile on your face. While your eyes are closed, take some time to observe the sensations in your body and the quietness within. Place your thumbs on the cartilage between your ear and cheek and cover your eyes with your middle finger and your ring finger. Now take a deep breath and as you breathe out, gently press the cartilage. You can keep the cartilage press or press it in and out with your finger while making a loud humming sound like a bee. You can also make a low pitch sound, but it is a good idea to make a high pitched one for better results. Breathe in again and continue the same pattern three to four times. Some of the benefits of the Brahmari Pranayama are it gives instant relief from tension, anger and anxiety. It is an effective breathing technique for people suffering from hypertension and an agitated mind. It gives relief if you are feeling hot or have a slight headache and it helps manage migraines. Pranayama benefits in improving concentration and memory. It builds confidence. Pranayama benefits in reducing blood pressure and helps calm the mind and prepares it for meditation. Now let us move on to Vakrasana. Release your legs from Sukhasana by stretching them straight. Place your hands on the sides near your buttocks or thighs and fold the right leg beside the left knee. Place the right hand back. 
opposite to the spine while keeping the spine straight. Stretch out your left hand and place it on the right ankle. Grab the right ankle as you twist to the right looking back. Exhale while breathing normally. The benefits of Vakrasana are that it increases the elasticity of the spine and tones the spinal nerves. It stretches the muscles and helps get rid of any stiffness in the vertebrae. It manages the abdominal organs, reduces belly fat and promotes the secretion of digestive juices that are useful for all digestive disorders. Loosens up the hip joints and relieves stiffness in the hips. It helps reduce flab in the abdomen. Now repeat the same procedure on the other side. Take a deep breath and relax. Turn your head, now facing forward. Slowly release the hand from your ankle, then stretch out your legs. Relax your body and breathe normally. Now let's learn the Ardha Matsyendra Asana. Sit up straight with your legs stretched out in front of you. Keep your feet together and your spine erect. Put your left leg under your right hip and place your right leg over the left knee. Put your foot on the ground beside the knee. Place your right hand around the back of your waist and stretch the left hand out. Using the left hand, grab your right ankle. Slowly twist your shoulders to the back on the right side while maintaining normal breathing. Some benefits of this asana are that it makes the spine supple, increases the elasticity of the spine, opens the chest to increase oxygen supply to the lungs. Now, while breathing out, release the right hand first. Release the waist. Now release your chest. And lastly, Release the legs. Sit back relaxed with your spine straight. Breathing out, come back to the front. Now let us do the Gomukhasana. Sit on the mat with your back straight and your legs stretched out in front. Place your left leg under your right buttock. And your right leg over the left knee. Maintain some distance between both the knees. Take your right hand and bend it over your back. Take your left hand and place it around your back. Now interlock both hands. While keeping the spine and elbow straight, look ahead. Benefits of Gomukh Asana are that it cures sciatica. 
it helps regulate high blood pressure helps the reproductive organs stay toned and massaged with regular practice it cures stiff shoulders elongates spine and is beneficial for those with bad posture it reduces stress and anxiety and strengthens the back muscles it stimulates kidneys and strengthens muscles of the ankles hips thighs shoulders triceps and chest now slowly release both hands release the legs and release the body Next let us learn the correct way to perform vajrasana. Sit on a flat surface like a yoga mat in a kneeling posture. Keep your spine straight and place your hands on your knees. Look straight ahead. Close your eyes. and relax in the vajrasana position while breathing normally the benefits of vajrasana are that it improves blood circulation it improves posture digestion and gives relief from lower back pain it strengthens the pelvic floor muscles and helps to calm the mind vajrasana improves sleep and helps in weight loss It also strengthens sexual organs and helps ease menstrual cramps. Now let's move into Ushtrasana. Start in the Vajrasana position. with your hands on your knees slowly come into an upright kneeling position with your knees slightly apart raise your right hand and then your left and place it on the soles of your feet bend backward while arching your back and breathe normally do not strain or flex your neck but keep it in a neutral position stay in this posture for a couple of breaths while breathing in and out the benefits of this asana are that it improves digestion stretches and opens up the front of the body and strengthens the back and shoulders it relieves the body of lower back ache improves flexibility of the spine and also improves posture it also helps relieve menstrual discomfort slowly release the posture while breathing in and out and come into the initial position withdraw your hands and bring them down to your knees Next let us learn to do the Madhyarya Asana. We will begin by sitting in the Vajrasana posture and slowly bring our elbows to the ground. Place your palms on the floor and come into a box position on all fours. While breathing in, 
Expand your chest and look up while bending your spine. This is the cow pose. Some of the benefits of the cow pose are that it brings flexibility to the spine, strengthens wrists and shoulders, massages the digestive organs to improve digestion and tones the abdomen. Now, while breathing out, bring the chin to touch the chest and breathe normally. This is the cat position. Some benefits of the cat position are that it improves digestion, relaxes the mind and improves blood circulation. Now come into the relaxed position. Pull your knees together. Slowly bring your elbows to touch the ground and place your palms on your chin. This is the rabbit position. Now, from the rabbit position, let us move into learning the balance bean. Place your palms on the ground and slowly come back into the box position on all fours. Straighten your right hand and lift your left leg. Maintain this position for a few seconds while breathing normally. Now slowly bring your hand and leg into the box position. Raise your left hand and right leg. Benefits of Balance Beam It improves vestibular sense, proprioception, mindfulness and focus. Now slowly relax your arms and legs. Keep your knees together and then your elbows on the ground. Place your palms on your chin and come back into the rabbit position. To relax your body for the next asana, place your palms on the ground. Come into a box position. Slowly relax the spine and lie down on your front. Breathe normally and relax. Lie down on your stomach with your soles facing upwards. Keep your legs close together with your feet and heels lightly touching each other. Place both hands in such a way that your shoulders and elbows are parallel to your torso. Taking a deep breath, slowly lift your head, chest and abdomen, keeping your navel on the floor. Make sure that you're putting equal pressure on both palms. If possible, straighten your arms by arching your back as much as possible. Tilt your head back and look up. Maintain the pose while breathing evenly for four to five breaths. Do this four to five times. The benefits of Bhujang Asana are that it opens up your shoulders and neck to relieve the pain. It tones the abdomen, strengthens the entire back and shoulders, improves flexibility of the upper and middle back, expands the chest, improves blood circulation, reduces fatigue and stress, and is useful for people with respiratory disorders such as asthma.
Now let us learn to do Shalabhasana. Relax the body while lying down on your front. Keep your legs straight and slowly bring your hands to the side of your body. Place the chin down in a way that it is touching the ground and slowly raise your head up. Then bring your chest up, then your hands up and finally your legs up. Maintain this posture while breathing normally. Some of the benefits of Shalabhasana are that it increases flexibility and strengthens the entire back. It strengthens the shoulders and the arms and tones the nerves and muscles, especially in the neck and shoulders. It massages and tones abdominal organs and improves digestion. Now slowly bring your legs down, then bring your hands down, then bring your chin to the ground and relax your body. Now moving on to Dhanurasana or the bow pose. Lie on your stomach with your feet apart in line with your hips. And your arms by your side. Fold your knees and take your hands backward and hold your ankles. Breathe in and lift your chest off the ground as you pull your legs up and towards the back. Look straight ahead with a smile on your face. Keep the pose stable while paying attention to your breath. Your body is now curved and as taut as a bow. Continue to take long deep breaths as you relax in this pose, but bend only as far as your body permits you to. Do not overdo this stretch. The benefits of Dhanur Asana are It strengthens the back and abdominal muscles Stimulates the reproductive organs Opens up the chest, neck and shoulders Tones the leg and arm muscles Adds greater flexibility to the back Alleviates stress and fatigue Relieves menstrual discomfort and constipation and helps people with kidney disorders. After 15 to 20 seconds, as you exhale, gently bring your legs and chest to the ground. Release the ankles and relax. Next, let us learn to do Parshvakorn Asana or the Extended Side Angle Pose. Stand straight with your legs about a meter and a half apart. Inhale and stretch out your hands on both sides. While exhaling, turn your right foot to the right side, bending your leg at the knee joint and move sideways till the right hand touches the ground outside the right foot. Stretch the left hand straight, forming a right angle. Look towards the elbow. Hold the pose for 5 to 10 breaths or about 30 seconds. And then return to the upright position. Repeat on the other side. You may move sideways to this posture three to five times, making sure your weight is balanced evenly on both feet. 
The benefits of Parshvakorn Asana are that it is effective in controlling constipation. It is a good remedy for back pain. It also strengthens the legs, knees and ankles. It stretches the hamstrings and tones the abdominal muscles. Let us close today's lesson with Shavasana or the Corpse Pose. Lie flat on your back, preferably without any props or cushions. You could use a small pillow below your neck if absolutely required. Close your eyes. Keep your legs comfortably apart, palms facing upwards and arms alongside your body. Take your attention to different parts of your body one by one, slowly relaxing every part of your body. Keep breathing slowly. After some time, you may move to your side, keeping your eyes closed. Take a few deep breaths in and out as you gradually become aware of your environment and body. When you feel completely relaxed, slowly and gently open your eyes. Some benefits of Shavasana are that this posture brings a deep meditative state of rest, which may help repair tissues and cells. It relieves stress and also is a great way to end a yoga session that has been particularly a fast-paced one. Thank you for joining me today. Hope each one of you benefited from this session. See you next time. Bye.